Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. B. Meena, Associate Professor, Head Department of Commerce and Vice Principal Shift 1 from Petition College of Arts and Science, Adaya, Chennai. In this video, you are going to learn how to prepare secondary distribution summary under repeated distribution method. Click the I button to watch my previous videos on how to prepare the primary distribution summary and secondary distribution summary and other playlists of my channel. Keep supporting by sharing my links to your known circle. Subscribe my channel, click the bell button. Let me check one problem under repeated distribution method. The following particulars relate to a manufacturing company which has three production, uh, three departments A, B and C and two service departments X and Y. So here we have the three production department A, B, C and two service departments X and Y. The respective overex as per PDS were given. Total department overex as per PDS were given. 6,300, 7,400, 2,800, 4,500 and 2,000 for A, B, C, X and Y respectively. The company decided to charge the service department cost on the basis of the following percentage. So X is serving to other departments for A, 40, B, 30, C, 20 and for Y, 10 percentage. And Y is doing service to other departments for A, 30 percentage for B 30 percentage, for C 20 percentage, for X at 20 percentage. Look at the question. Find the total overhead of production departments on the repeated distribution method. So the problem specifically mentioned the method, what method we need to uh, follow to prepare the uh, secondary distribution summary. So repeated, what about the repeated distribution method? How you are supposed to prepare that means you keep on redistributing the service departments over it till it gets zero. That is the unique feature of repeated distribution method or the highlight of this method. Let me check one pro that is solution for this problem. Uh, that is put the heading as usual way, secondary distribution summary under repeated distribution method. So look at the columns particulars. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't mention any total column. So the columns, uh, the method wise columns, you should familiar. What are the columns need to open? So under this method, just open the particulars column, production departments column and service department column. There is no need of uh, having total column. And then uh, the first transaction I mentioned here, over its as per PDS. So I return all the amounts of the production department, service department, respectively as per the information in the problem 6300 7400 2800 4500 and 2000 for a b c x and y okay then i'll take the service the first service department x rupees 4500 to a b c and y in what ratio look at that look at the problem so once again look at the problem uh, against x 40 30 20, 10 percent. So what will be the ratio? 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. So the thing I want to highlight, whenever I am redistributing x over it, whenever I am redistributing the x over it, I should redistribute at the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. Whenever I am redistributing the x over it. Whenever I am going to redistribute the y's over it, I need to redistribute in the ratio of 3 is to 3 is to 2 is to 2. Till I am getting zero for the service department column. This is what I want to highlight. Uh, so just check out this uh, solution. The second transaction I written here: service department X over it rupees four thousand five hundred, four thousand five hundred to A, B, C, and Y in the ratio of four is to three is to two is to one. So. 4,500 into 4 by 10, 3 by 10, 2 by 10, 1 by 10. Now I got 10, 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So 4 by 10 for A, 3 by 10 for B, 2 by 10 for C, uh, 1 by 10 for Y. Out of 4,500 means I'll get this values, 1,800 for A and then 1,350 for B, uh, 900 for C and then 450 for Y. 
So I mentioned under the column X for minus 4,500, that indicates this amount only redistributed between A, B, C and Y at the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. The next step is I need to check the Y column. So this department Y column, there are two amounts available. Look at the availability. So totally 2,450 is available. This 2,450 only redistributed to A, B, C and D, X at the ratio of 3 is to 3 is to uh, 2 is to 2. I said no, whenever I'm going to redistribute Y is over it, what is the ratio I need to follow? 3 is to 3 is to 2 is to 2. Okay, so 3 by 10, 3 by 10, 2 by 10, 2 by 10 out of 2450 for A, B, C and X means 735 for A, B and uh, 490 for C and X. Okay, then next I need to redistribute the X over at 490. Now I got 490, isn't it? So 490 to be redistributed between A, B, C and Y at the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 because it's X over it. So what is the X ratio? 4, 3, 2, 1. So 4 by 10, 3 by 10, 2 by 10, 1 by 10 out of 490 means I'll get 196 for A, 147 for B, 98 for C and 49 for Y. So this uh, process will keep on uh, continuing uh, till I'm getting zero in the uh, service department column. Next is 49 I'm getting under Y column. So 49 I'm getting is still I need to redistribute. So 49 to A, B, C and the X at the ratio of 3 is to 3 is to 2 is to 2. So I'll get this values 14 by 0 0.7, 14.7, 9.8, 9.8. Till I'm not getting zero. So still I need to redistribute. So 9.8 to be redistributed among A, B, C and Y at the ratio of uh, 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 means I'll get 3.92 for A, 2.94 for B and 1.96 for C and then 0 0.9 for 0 0.98. Now only I'll stop redistributing because I got zero in my service department column. Once I get zero, I stop redistributing the overheads of service departments and get the total of production departments. That is the answer of total overheads of production departments under repeated distribution method. So the feature of this method to prepare the secondary distribution summary is we will redistribute the service departments overheads among the other departments, both production and service, till we are getting a zero in the service department column. Then get the total of the production departments. That is the answer of total overheads of production departments under repeated distribution method. Okay. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe my channel. Click the bell button. We will see you the next video by applying both the methods for the same problem. Until then, bye-bye.